Hello everyone, this is me Explore Gamer. Welcome to another devlog. I asked you guys what game should I make next and gave a few options in the community post. And you guys selected RDR2. Seriously, you guys really think I can make a game that has a budget of 500 million all by myself? Yeah, well, let's find out today. So what I'm planning to do is just as I did with the GTA video but instead of cars we're gonna have horse we can ride the horse and shoot people but with the inclusion of the dead eye feature that's a very essential feature in RDR games so without any further ado let's get into it let's start off by creating a project I'm gonna call it RDR2 yes this is the Rockstar confirmed official remake of RDR2 I'm in charge of this all right now we're in the project let's create a plane as we usually do now I don't want to create the third person controller from scratch because we've already made that in our GTA game. We made a GTA game using ChatGPT. Check out those videos too. As a hardcore fan of the Yakuza games, the one thing I've learned from RGG Studios is to reuse your own assets every time it's possible. Arigato Nagoshi-san. So I opened up my GTA project and hello project, I missed you. Now let's take this bald headed character and we're gonna make him a cowboy. We're gonna change his model and animation, just gonna be using the script and logic. So now we want a cowboy boy model i'm gonna head over to mixamo and search for a cowboy looking character two hours later Okay, so Mixamo didn't have a good cowboy looking character. I ended up with this old uncle. Bro looks more like the uncle from RDR2. Red Dead Redemption? More like retired and dead redemption. Now let's find some animations for this character. So I downloaded all the walking and running and idle animation and then I imported them to blender and blended all them together <laughs> and now I've imported the uncle to unity project and now I'm gonna replace it with the third person controller we had let me change all the animation and stuff okay now our character is fully functioning just like how it was in our GTA game I'm using the same script now what we need is a horse because what's a Red Dead Redemption game without a horse after a long search I found a good one and this seems to work fine after doing a bit adjustment in the keyframes in blender but for some reason when i imported it to unity its texturing was not working properly the uv was mapped in the wrong way so i had no choice but to end up using a single material for the horse but it still looked fine so i thought why not just use it for now and there you go now we have a horse we're using the idle animation but we want to be able to get on top of it and ride it so how do we do that let's head over to ChatGPT. Now before we get into the coding part, we want an animation of the player getting on top of the horse and riding it. I think this animation seems fine and for getting down, I'm just gonna reverse the frames. Okay, so animation part is done, now let's head over to ChatGPT, for real. Now I'm gonna explain ChatGPT how I want the player to climb on the horse and it's gonna give me a code to do exactly that. Now let's set up the animator so that it plays the animation while getting on top. And just like we had in our GTA game, we're gonna have an empty object called the enter position. The player will shift its position to that empty object and then play the climbing animation let's test this out uh, that's not where you're supposed to sit on a horse let me adjust the enter position all right now it seems pretty good now we want to be able to control the horse so let's go to chat GPT and make a horse script this horse is gonna move just like a third person controller itself we're gonna use a blend tree to move between the idle walk and running animation of the horse and then I tested out the horse controller and it seems like it's pretty fine I mean we cannot make a realistic horse like the RDR2 at least we'll try to make a horse like the Ocarina of Time now if we climb on top of the horse you can see the control switched over to the horse but uh, we forgot to attach the player along with the horse so let's set it as a parent object and now you can see the player is actually riding the horse but if you look closely we have a problem here if you have ridden a horse you know how shaky it can be or at least if you ride a horse in a game you know the player always keeps shaking when he is riding the horse he's not gonna sit still like he's driving a car so in order to make it convincing I'm gonna set his parent object as not the 
horse but his skeleton see when the horse is doing the animation its bones are moving the parent object of the horse is not moving so we're gonna attach the player to the bone instead of the parent object and now when we're riding the horse you can see it feels a bit more convincing as we're actually shaking like we're really on top of the horse we're moving according to its body movements all right so the main mechanics of shooting and moving and riding a horse is done now let's make a grassland scenery for our game as this is a red dead redemption game so it can't take place in a city we can't use our city model so i found this really beautiful looking grassland it was in the unity asset store for free so let's import this to our project and now we have our player and horse here we can ride around in this beautiful looking terrain this feels much better than an empty plane now we need some enemies for our game and as you know i didn't find any cowboys in the mixamo so i just took this soldier he looked pretty medieval to me i guess we're gonna have a soldier versus cowboy He's gonna attack us with his sword and we can just shoot him before he reaches us. I imported him to Unity and then I asked ChatGPT to make the enemy script for me. Basically the enemy is gonna stand still and once the enemy gets in its sporting range, it's gonna move towards the player and when it's close to the player, it starts attacking. Just the basic enemy in every game. Then I set up the transition of the animations in the animator window. So as you can see, the enemy is moving towards me and starts attacking but I think the attack range is a bit too far so let's decrease the attack range now when the sword hits the player multiple times i want him to die and fall like a ragdoll so i created a trigger on the sword and this is gonna detect the collision then i created the ragdoll using unity's ragdoll system i just dragged the armature parts Okay, let's turn off the physics for now. It should only be activated when we are dead. So I told ChatGPT that's what I needed and he made a code for me. And as you can see, now the player dies and transforms into a ragdoll. Now we want to be able to kill the enemy using our gun. So we have already implemented the gun shooting mechanics in our GTA game as we're using the same asset. So I'm just gonna edit a bit and add changes according to this enemy instead of the NPC we had in GTA game. And then I created a ragdoll for this soldier made sure it will be active only after it died great so the enemy is also done now a crucial thing missing from our game is the dead eye that's one of the main features of red dead games so we're gonna add that and it's pretty simple we just have to add a slow motion when we press the middle mouse button so i told chat gpt to make the dead eye just like how it is in the red dead games now when we play the game and press the middle mouse button you can see the enemy slowed down because the game is now in slow motion then i created a filter for the dead eye this filter is going to be applied when it is in slow motion just like in the red dead game and there you go ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves an indie made red dead redemption 2 this has a budget of zero million dollars so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it was pretty fun making this if you have any more ideas for devlogs like this leave it in the comments below and if you're new here click subscribe if you want more of these videos i'll see you guys in the next video